assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so in our today's topic we will discuss about the colloids what does mean by the colloids and what are they basically when we are going to talk about this a colloid it is a mixture that has the particles ranging from 1 to 10 raised to power 3 nanometer as their particle size is 1 to 10 raised to power 3 nanometer and they are still able to remain evenly distributed throughout its mean that solution is uniform throughout and we cannot be able to see the particles as the particle size is small so we cannot see the particle size or all the particles by the naked eye basically it is a mixture colloids are mainly consisting of two phases the first one phase is the dispersion medium and the second phase is dispersed phase here for example dispersion medium we have water and the dispersed phase we have milk when both get dissolved into each other we just gain a mixture which is known as a colloid and the colloids are basically mixtures in which we cannot see the two different phases rather the phase of the mixture is uniform throughout and there is no distinguishing between the particles so this is the mainly collide so now how we can differentiate between dispersed phase and dispersion medium basically dispersion medium it is the main medium that is giving some space for the particles to settle down on the other hand dispersed phase is we can take it as the milk so dispersion medium and the dispersed phase there are two phases of the colloids on the other hand what are the properties of the colloids mainly colloids are heterogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture means there are two different forms they are mainly heterogeneous and this particle size is very small and the size is between 1 to 10 raised to power 3 nanometer where 1 nanometer is equal to 10 raised to power minus 9 meter it shows the Tyndall effect now what does mean by Tyndall effect scattering of light this process is mainly known as the Tyndall effect next they do not settle down when left undisturbed for some time so the main thing is over there particles do not settle at the bottom of the beaker bottom of beaker when it is placed undisturbed for some time for example if we have a beaker and it is having a collide solution all the particles will be evenly distributed they do not settle at the bottom of the beaker next they cannot be separated by the filtration process now why the reason is that because particles are too small particles are small in size and they pass through the filter paper so that's why they cannot be separated by the use of filter paper and they can be separated by only the centrifugation centrifugation it is mainly a process in which we use the centrifuge machine for the separation of the particles as the separation is on the basis of difference in concentration gradient as well as in density so the particles get distributed on the basis of their 
density in the centrifugal machine and that process is known as centrifugation. Next we have the property of the collides that is known as Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect basically it is known as scattering of the light that when the last is going to be the light is going to be passed through the solution as well as from the collide we can have the path of light if the path of light is visible from a mixture then the mixture may be a collide as well as the suspension but the path of light when it is not visible it mean we have a solution and that solution we called as a true solution a true solution is one which is homogeneous not heterogeneous on the other hand collides it is a heterogeneous mixture and that heterogeneous mixture can show the Tyndall effect. Next we have the classes of colloids. Before the classes of the colloids we must have some examples. Examples of colloids we have whipped cream we have halva we have jellies. These are all the daily life examples of the collides that we use at our home. Whipped cream, halwa, jellies, mayonnaise, and etc. All these are the examples of the collides. On the other hand, the example of collides we have smoke, we have mist, as well as fog. All the examples of the collides. So this is all about the colloids. In the next lesson we will study about the classes of the colloids that is sol, gel, solid aerosol, liquid aerosol and the gas aerosol along with that and foam. For that time have a good day and a lot of